It is a final test of chemistry for the folks hoping to make it on Vice President Kamala Harris's ticket this November. Good evening. I'm Brett Hofland. And I'm Callan Gray. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and the other major candidates vying to be Harris's running mate spent the day at her residence in Washington, D.C., working to win her approval. But what the interview actually looks like is something of a mystery. Our Brittany Ehrman joins us in studio now with what a local political expert says may be happening behind closed doors and what it could mean for walls. Brittany. Brett and Callan, this is basically a personality test. The big question is, who would Kamala Harris work the best with if she won the election? Political experts tell me this experience put Governor Tim Walls on the map and he'll benefit from the outcome if he's chosen or not. These three candidates could land a spot on the November ballot to stand by Kamala Harris's side as her running mate. Sources telling ABC News the vice president is meeting with three leading contenders, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. It's really Kamala Harris making a, a decision, a rational, carefully considered decision, but also a gut check. Is this someone I can spend a lot of time with for four years. Larry Jacobs, U of M political science expert, explained these closed door meetings are basically personal interviews. Harris needs to assess if she can work with the elected officials in every situation from crisis moments to social events. Is this someone who shares my philosophy, my values, uh, my core policy positions? That's going to be very important. Jacob says Governor Walls has a chance to be selected to stand by Harris's side, noting his 12 years of experience serving as an elected official in Washington. That is very important. Kamala Harris needs her vice president, if she were elected, to arrive in Washington and hit the ground running. So if Governor Tim Walls is not selected, then what? If Kamala Harris were to win, moving to Washington to be secretary of education or one of the other departments. Um, and, you know, I suspect that his name would be floated uh, in 2028 as a candidate, either for president or perhaps for vice president. And he added, if Walls is tapped to be Harris's running mate, his life will change drastically and very quickly with campaigning, being protected by Secret Service, and of course, the possibility of moving to Washington, D.C. Brett? We will wait and see. All right, Brittany, thank you.